people speaking on these stages do, sadly. That's why the Sikh Press Association was started. Moving forward from this, very, very simple issues in terms of what we can do to tackle the narrative and move forward to actually put forward our Pantic perspectives. The main thing people need to do is actually reach out and step up. The Sikh Press Association is doing that. We can do that on your behalf. Reach out to us on social media, but it doesn't need to come through us. It's actually very simple. Everything, all media now are very accessible. They have their contacts on social media. They have their contacts on their own websites. You can reach out to them directly through social media. The main thing is that actually people taking responsibility to step up. Whenever I ask, who can talk about a certain topic here in Canada and BC? Nine times out of ten, the Sangha turn around to me and say, Ask Bhaimanandar Singh. Ask Bhaimanandar Singh. We need more people to step up for these roles. We need people to put themselves forward. And I understand that it's very difficult because once you put yourself forward, once you put your face forward, you will face repercussions. You will have to worry about going back to India, back to Punjab, our homeland. But nevertheless, it is a responsibility that individuals need to choose to take up. I'll give one example of how we can battle these narratives that the Sick Press Association did. In 2018, everyone remembers Justin Trudeau, who isn't saying anything right now, and we do need to demand him to speak. He went out to Sidi uh, Harmandar Saab, and we all know what happened after that about the media coverage. The Toronto Star printed an article which claimed that some of the meetings uh, Jagmeet Singh, NDP, was going to featured support for Shaheeds, and the word Shaheed meant the same thing in Sikhi as it did in Islam. The Sikh Press Association challenged them on this, that it meant something completely different to what it means in Islam, and they were forced to print an apology. That apology means nothing, but what means something is the fact that ever since then, for the next five years since, they are not able to print such nonsense that Shahidi is the same in Sikhi as it is in Islam. And that's the type of little victories behind the scenes that we're always trying to win. And that's the type of little victories you guys yourselves can actually win by putting yourselves forward. Right now, the media is asking for people that have family in Punjab, that want to speak out on camera and say, I'm worried about my family. Here's what I think about the situation. Here's what my family back home is telling me. The media are looking for people to come forward and give their story. So you can reach out to us, you can reach out directly. And beyond that, don't be afraid to challenge them. Don't be afraid to say, I understand this situation better than you do. And there's organizations like the Sikh Press Association that will always step up and back you in these circumstances. Because we know things like the portrayal of Sadaf Amrit Pal Singh are completely skewed and twisted. This was a Singh that went out trying to tackle addiction across Punjab. This was a Sikh that spoke for Sikh sovereign rights for Khalistan and him being portrayed as some sort of terrorist when there's no actual crime that he's accused of is just complete nonsense and we can challenge him on this and we must. So once again, please do, let's take up responsibility and just from a personal perspective, I want everyone to understand about eight, nine years ago, I would never ever have imagined myself speaking in a venue like this. I had no understanding, I didn't know what Bant meant, I didn't even probably know what Simran meant. Bhai Jagrad Singh found me and he said, you have a skill set that we can use and he gave me a role. We all have a role to play no matter where we are on the path. We all have some sort of skill set, some sort of ability to do something that can serve our form. Find that within yourselves. Find that by connecting with the Pantic organizations in your areas. We've got many great ones, say, Pantic Avaz, Undying Morcha, Khalistan Center, many more that have can't remember off the top of my head. Connect with them, get the guidance of the Gurusiks, get the guidance of the Khalsa, and we'll find the ways to help everyone. The very last thing I'm gonna say, sometimes we think these little things don't make an impact. Somebody that I've been working with very closely for the last six years is Gurbeet Singh Johal, the brother of Jaggi Johal, who's been imprisoned in India, as we all know, for the last six years. He's told me specifically, and he said out loud publicly, he believes the only reason Jaggi is still alive is because they know if anything happens to him, if tomorrow the news breaks that Jaggi has passed away, that he's become Shaheed, 
cities from Toronto, New York, San Francisco, all over the world are going to be locked off. They're going to be shut down. They know, they know that because we're turning up regularly, whether it's Scotts Road or outside the Indian consulate on, on this Saturday as we're being asked to do. Know that these little things, they do make a difference. They do catch eyes and they do make our enemies think twice.